Welcome to Minding Your Business, the show for really interesting and different entrepreneurs. I'm your host, June Middleton. Uh, this evening's show is a direct result of work that I have done with one of our guests, Meyer Gross. And I had the pleasure of working with Meyer a few years back and on a non-for-profit uh, project that we were both involved with. Thanks to my nonprofit friend and attorney who will be thrilled to meet, you will be really thrilled to meet this ensemble of absolutely brothers in song who have traveled around the country performing a diverse selection of songs. I am pleased and really thrilled and happy to have on our show this evening as our very, very special talented guests, the outstanding a cappella group, the Crickets. Hit it. My wild Irish rose was the sweetest flower that grows. You may search everywhere, but none can compare with my wild Irish rose, Irish rose. My Someday for my sake she may let me take the bloom from my wild Irish rose, my rose. The bloom from my wild Irish Thank you so much for being here. That was fantastic what they just did, what you all just did. Uh, just, I mean, a cappella uh, was an outgrowth of what, church um, mainly music, but when there was no accompaniment. That yes. is fantastic. Everybody was in tune. <laughs> Thanks, we, we tried. It's not only <laughs> yeah. being in tune. It's balancing so that all the voices balance so you can hear all the parts. Oh, that's oh, there's great. There's a great deal to it to make oh, it sound like. Oh, that's terrific. Well, you know, so nice to see you again. Yes, and it is. our meetings that we used to have on talking about nonprofits, yes. which prompted me to talk some time, I've been some time talking about nonprofits this evening. But how long have you been with the group? About at least 30 years, I think. Come on. Yeah. Wouldn't you start when you were about 20? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. The, okay, you don't want to answer 50, that. About 50. <laughs> you don't have to say. Yeah, you don't 50. have to say. It's yeah. okay. It's all right. It's okay. Folks at home are doing the math. You look great. Thank you. And I like the longer hair that you have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's very pretty. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, uh, you've been with them for 30? About 30 years, 30 yes. years, wow. But now, uh, what did you do before then? I mean, I know, but tell us. Well, I'm a, I was an intellectual property lawyer. Mm -hmm. I have an engineering degree and a law degree, and I did patents, trademarks, copyrights, that kind of law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I had, uh, I knew Phil, who will be talking with you soon, yeah. and he kept after me to join the glee club that he was in. And eventually I joined, and uh, we're all members of the University Glee Club of New York City. Oh, that's and so that's great. How, that's how. Do you do uh, a lot of traveling um, with the, the club, or...? Yes, we've uh, we've gone on tours all all throughout a good part of the Western Hemisphere and uh, Europe. That's we, fantastic. Yes. And the Glee Club itself, fantastic. we travel all over the new all over the eastern uh, oh. part of the country. Well, please introduce to us this charming young gentleman right here, who is your musical director. Yes, so Mr. Johnny Robbie. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Nice We've to meet you. A lot. We have. It's been lovely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and thank you for having us. This is our first time ever on, on TV. Oh, <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. 
Hi, you mom. Sound like <laughs> or, or mom. I'm wife. <laughs> you, you all Eileen. sound like uh, real pros that you've been doing this a lot. So, um, how often you rehearse? I remember every Monday. Yep, we rehearse on Mondays, typically twice a month. And when we get together, oh, is that we get. All? To, that's it. Believe it or not. Uh, wow. We get together for two hours when Everybody's we rehearse. Everybody's so good. Well. I mean, look at these guys. I mean, they, look, they look good, you know? That, oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, well, and as Meyer said, we all are part of the University Glee Club. Mm -hmm. Glee Club meets on Thursdays. We meet on Mondays. The rest of the time, we spend with our family. Now, how long have you been uh, the musical director? I've been about five years the musical oh, director of, of Crickets. Just about. Now, what else do you do? During the day, I sell software. You're kidding. Believe it or not. What, uh, what kind of apps? Are they it's app software? The, the I for marketing, I work for a marketing software company. Ironically, the company is called Conductor. <laughs> That's very I, I, wish I, could, I really wish I could make it up. <laughs> <laughs> and what is your background? I mean, did you study uh, or major in music? Or? I did. Uh, my mother uh, went to Ithaca, class of 73, in the music oh. school. So I went to Ithaca, the music school, class of 2011. What was your instrument? I was a vocal major. Oh. So I did uh, vocal music education, which prompted me to then work for the Young People's Chorus of New York City for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. The logical transition from teaching music to children is to go sell software, so that's then what I did next, of course. <laughs> of course. Makes sense to me. <laughs> awesome. That's terrific. And please tell us about this gentleman sitting next to you, and I'm thinking that you are the longest uh, member, senior member of the group at this point. That's please actually true, him. and I know you teased my colleague here about how long he's been in the group. The group was actually formed 38 years ago. Wow. And I am one of the founders of it. One of the founders? That's correct. Oh, that's impressive. I have been singing with this group for 38 years. Oh my gosh. And as was explained before, uh, we are an offshoot of the University Glee Club of New York City, mm -hmm. which has been singing continuously in New York for almost 125 years. Oh. And we're about to approach our quasquicentennial. Say that again. I thought you might ask. <laughs> I, I, I had to look this up. Yeah, our please. Our 125th anniversary is called a quasquicentennial. Quasquicentennial. Quasqui. Quasqui. Here you go. I like that. I, I liked it too. <laughs> and we've been together uh, singing on just regularly since then. Interesting factoid about the crickets, the membership's ages span five decades. Yeah, I, I can see a wide range. There's it's a wonderful. huge, huge range. Oh, that is really, really great. And I, the, what, did, now what did you do? Are you still uh, working in the f professional field in I, some way? I try not to. I'm a mostly retired corporate lawyer. Oh, another lawyer. Another lawyer. I love lawyers. <laughs> I'm surrounded. In my, in my family, right. we call it the family disease. <laughs> my wife is a lawyer. You're I kidding. have a son who's a lawyer. I had a brother who was a lawyer. Another brother who was, was a lawyer. What was your area? Uh, I did M&A, but uh, mostly the fun thing I did was energy. Oh. Clean energy. Ah. I represented a client who was a pioneer in waste and energy technology, essentially. Oh, taking uh, care of brownfields. Yeah, and various other things, wind power, solar oh, power. Right, uh, right, solar power. It was very oh, that's very impressive. And you don't miss it? I guess no, not. No, not a bit. <laughs> now I have a chance to do more singing. I get uh, a chance to indulge my love of theater. I get to travel the world continuously. Oh, it's a lot of great. fun. Well, please introduce this very first gentleman who's standing right here. First gentleman with the microphone is Tim Thompson. Sings second tenor with the group, and he's terrific. Oh, hi. 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 Welcome to the show. Thank please, you. Thanks for having us. Tell us something about yourself and how long you've been with the group. Well, um, I'm a native New Yorker. Um, oh. And um, during the day, I'm a math teacher. And I've been with the Crickets uh, for uh, 13 years now. 
oh my gosh, oh, oh, oh. Where do you teach math? I teach, I'm the, the seventh grade math teacher at a middle school in Brooklyn. Oh, 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 that's terrific. And uh, I mean, do you have any chance, how did you get to the music part from the math part? I mean, there is a connection between math and music, I've always felt, but how did you make the uh, connection? Well, as you said, there's definitely a connection. Um, I'm aspiring to be a principal one day, to be in charge of my own school. And one thing I would definitely institute is make sure um, all kids take chorus. When I was coming up through school, everyone in my sixth grade class had to take chorus. It was a class. And I thought that was a great thing. You know, mm -hmm. get the kids to sing. We all have a voice. And yeah, I just would, I, I sang, I did musicals, I've done theater, and uh, uh, yeah, and I've been part of the University Glee Club for 14 years now. So, oh, yeah, music and theater have been a, a great part of my life. That's great. Well, let's hear from the gentleman that's next, standing next to you. Sure, June. Uh, to my left is my friend Larry Krakoff. Larry? Hi. It's a pleasure to be here. The same here. Welcome. Well, so tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you been with the group? I've been with this group, I think, about 17 years. Oh. I, uh, I, I sang in college, and then there was a long period when I was making my career and couldn't. And so I got back into singing with some good friends who were in the University Glee Club back around 1998. It was, for me, it was a joy to get back into it, and I've been singing with the group ever since. Oh, that's really wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. That's terrific. And who is that next to you? Uh, da David Vining, first tenor. Hi there. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I'm David Vining. I've been singing. I'm a relatively new cricket. I've been singing with the crickets about three and a half years, I think. Oh, jeepers, yeah. yeah. But I've yeah, been singing with the University Glee the Club group. for uh, 15. So uh, uh -huh. I was just uh, late, you, late coming to this group. What do you do when you're not singing? I am a preschool teacher. I teach pre-K. Oh, yeah. here in the city? Or? In the city, up, 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 to, up on the Upper West Side. Oh, 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 in a small, a private school or a public uh, It's school? a nursery school. It's one of the oldest nursery schools in the United States. It's called Columbia Greenhouse. Oh, I, I used to be very involved in the private school community, so ah, I'm kind of it's like, up there on I had an organization Street. called WHEELS. We help ed, uh, educate early, early learning situations Excellent. where we'd uh, bus children from the outer areas into midtown Manhattan to the private schools. Yeah, I know about so, some of those programs. Oh, you've, with we all of my kids that. are all, the kids I teach are all headed out into kindergarten, so we do a lot of sort of work at X mission, so I know a lot about the, the Oh, yeah, and school my son also. went to collegiate. Ah. Yeah, 12 years, go. yeah. I had yeah, one yeah. of my kids there just the other day interviewing over there. Oh, oh so, well, that's, that's <laughs> terrific. That is terrific. And who's that next to you, please? Right next to me, this is Mr. Ralph Rose. Hi. Hi, June. Great to be here. Oh, nice to have you. So tell us a little bit something about what you were doing when uh, during the off days of having uh, rehearsals. Well, during the daytime, I work in commercial real estate finance, so singing is much more exciting. Aha. Uh -huh. And I've been singing with the crickets for, I think, about four years and with the University Glee Club. How long? About four years. I'm a relatively oh, four years. new member 40. of the group. Uh, I've been singing with the University Glee Club now, I think, about six years. Uh -huh. uh, and enjoy it very much. Oh, Great group of guys. We enjoy hearing you, absolutely. So, and, and the gentleman next to you, please. Sean Pearson, one of my fellow basses. Are you the Thanks, bass? Thanks, Ralph. Well, yes. Oh, That's love right. that bass. We sing low notes. Um, <laughs> I actually, so what I, what I do for a living is what you guys are doing. I work in television. I, do li I make live television, so I love what being What do you do? Uh, I'm a technical director, so I work for... NBC and I work for Madison Square Garden. So this is really, uh, this is where I spend my days. <laughs> and then I get to sing at night. But Oh, that's great. That's yeah. great. Well, you'll have to give us some pointers. No, about. this is great. This, you, guys are, you guys are doing great. I have a question for you, June. Would you say I'm taller than Ralph or Ralph's taller than I am? Because Johnny, Johnny has confused me. What are we doing, the Big Bang Theory here? <laughs> we're just, it was just a question. I'm going to pass on the, I, I see, I see we're not getting any answers. I'm going to pass this on to my, my good friend, so Stephen. Stephen, I might change my last name. It's easier than my real last name, so we'll go with that. I'm the newest member by far, three months 
is all oh. I have in here. So that's, uh, that is the newest. And I've only been with the University Glee Club since February of this past year. Oh, so, this is wonderful. Welcome. Yeah, I'm very glad to be a part of both groups. It's been quite a wonderful thing to find people to sing with in, in the city. Oh, well, a, that's great. Yeah. So you'll have to tell us more when you next time you come back. Absolutely. I'd love to. Uh, okay. And over here, we get into our baritone section with Jeremy Davidson. Hi, Hi. June. How are you? I'm just terrific having all of you here. You keep kidding. I'm just having a great time. Great. So what do you do when you're not rehearsing? I'm a music educator. You're? A music educator. Oh, where do you yeah. educate? <laughs> uh, it's a place called the Cadman School. It's an uh, elementary school. And what do, you, uh, what do you teach? I teach kids how to sight read, how to sing, how to do a little bit of composing, to love music. Mm. Oh, that's terrific. That's terrific. And how long have you been with the group? Uh, about three and a half years. Oh, that's wonderful. Wonderful. Nice to have you here. Thank and you. And last but not least. This is Ed Yoakum, my fellow baritone. Oh, hi. Hello, June. How are you? I'm just terrific. It's great to be here tonight. Thanks for having us. Oh, my pleasure. So tell us what uh, something about what it is you're doing uh, well, when you're not singing. I'm part of that singing. wide range description that was described. Uh, although I've only been singing uh, about seven years uh, with the crickets and since about 2002, I've been a member of the UGC. Mm -hmm. I'm retired now. I was a banker in real life, uh, financing large capital assets like aircraft and ships and trains. Oh, well, that's terrific. That's a, what an outstanding group is here. I, I'm just so thrilled. And now that we've known and gotten to speak to everyone, please, we need to hear more music. Okay. So I know that you have another uh, two songs that you can do for us. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Let's, let's, do it, let's hit it. To add an historical note, when the crickets were formed 38 years ago, it's because we were on hiatus from the University Glee Club. It was summer vacation, hence the name the crickets. Uh, we started originally to sing madrigals. Madrigals are very old songs and we're going to demonstrate one having dug back into the hit parade of 1684 and that's where the next song comes from. My bunny lass she smileth when she my heart beguileth. Fa la 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 My bunny lass she smileth when she my heart beguileth. Fa la 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 Smile lest you love therefore and you shall love me more. Fa la 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 Smile less dear love therefore and you shall love me more. Fa la 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 When she is sweet I turn it for my heart it burn it Fa la 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 Dear love, call in their light, or else you burn me quite. Fa la 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 la
on time you've done oh we've talked to all of you and you've sung so beautifully and i just want to know what are your plans the glee club has a concert january 13th at alice tully hall oh terrific how do you publicize yourselves mostly on social media also to our friends and family typically we've been a membership organization but we're starting to branch out and we'd love for anybody to join us thank you so much for being here. This has been such a thrill for me. And you're so good and so talented. I, it's just so impressive. It really is. And it's such a pleasure for me to sit here and listen to you. So uh, we're, as I said, we're running short of time. But I just want um, our viewers to know you have been watching Minding Your Business. This is a show for really interesting and outstanding entrepreneurs and you see all of these gentlemen have wonderful current or past professions which is very exciting that they spend time getting together to make this beautiful music so it's just a, a thrill to have them here and I want you to know that you have been watching Minding Your Business the show for entrepreneurs and I want to give a special thanks to our crew in uh, the control room and to Maria who has just been a wonderful talent coordinator and makeup artist which I really enjoyed that thank you Maria and it's just a matter of um, getting to see yourself where you want to be because these gentlemen have already accomplished a lot and they're still turning new pages every day. So a very, very special thanks to Rich here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network for making this show possible. And I'm your host, Drew Middleton. Please join us again for some really interesting and exciting guests that we have on this show. So for the time that we have left, can you take us out? Uh, 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 one, two, three. Have you heard the new sensation sweeping across the land? A musical treat with a Dixieland beat. It's Alexander's Ragtime. Ragtime Band! Come on in here. Come on in here. Come on in here. Come on in here, Alexander's Ragtime Band. Come on in here. Come on in here. It's the best band in the land. They can play a like you've never heard before. ta ka ta ta ka ta ta ka ta 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 wa wa It's just the bestest band, what am My little honey lamb. Come on, the clarinets play in the tra la 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 Play the big bass point. Go up to the clear, the slip and slide. Trombone, who's the moaner on the saxophone? And if you want to hear that's funny river playing ragtime. Come on and hear, come on and hear, come on and hear, come on and hear, 
Alexander's red time band. But, but, but what's the commotion? I got a notion. Something's in the air. Let's meander and we'll take a gander and we'll see what's a coming down there. Hear those syncopated toots, see those flashy red suits. It's Alexander's band, I swear. And if you really want to hear that Sewanee River, Come on and hear.